like show business like no business I know I have many interests and hobbies Doctor Who reading and writing comic books other geeky and nerdy things like that making videos radio production acting and theatre. One of the types of theatre I enjoy both being in and going to watch is musical theatre. So I thought I would do the musical theatre tag. I came across this tag recently on Amy McLean's YouTube channel. She is an author and film vlogger. So do go check her out after you've watched this one. I'll leave a link to her video doing this in the thingy me below. But basically, if you've not encountered tag videos before, it's a list of questions about a subject and I answer them and then I might tag some people if I feel like it and then you can do it too if you want. I, you know, I'll tag all of you. You can all do it. Uh, make your own video, answer these questions. I'll leave the questions below as well so you can easily copy them. Hmm. Should we get started? Yeah. Okay, so the first question if I keep on looking down here, it's because that's where my laptop is. The first musical you saw live. Now, I'm sure I saw several amateur productions of musicals when I was younger. My parents were in amateur theatre. Uh, I did amateur theatre. I can't really remember which, uh, which the first amateur theatre production that I ever saw was. So let's go for my first professional production that I remember seeing, because I do remember what that was. And that was Miss Saigon in London's West End. And I think I was about 10. It's probably not the most appropriate thing for a 10 year old to go see necessarily but the reason there is reasons um i had grown up listening to the soundtrack to miss i gone it was my mum's favorite musical and she put it on all the time whenever she was i don't know cleaning the house or just wanted some music on she'd always put that on and i very i remember sort of dancing around the living room to it with her uh it was it, it, it therefore embedded it's very nostalgic for me for that reason and uh, and so consequently when I was about 10 or 11 I can't remember exactly I wanted to go see it and so for my birthday that year we got to go see Miss Like One and that was my first ever professional musical I saw live favorite musical you've seen this is tough I've got a kind of fluctuating top three or four that kind of fluctuate uh, if I had to pick one of them right now, and this this might change tomorrow, uh, but right now I would probably say Matilda. It's written by the amazing lyric lyric I can't even say that word lyricist Tim Minchin. Who, if you do not know who Tim Minchin is, go YouTube some of his stand stand up slash concerts. He does very amusing, funny, hilarious songs and they're all over YouTube. Go Google him right now. Just stop, if you've not heard of him before and you've never seen Team Minchin, stop this video right now and go and Google him because he is hilarious. And he wrote all the lyrics for Matilda and they are hilarious and they're so witty and brilliant. And they've got such great, they've got such great moral, like moral messages in them as well, uh, which obviously come from, from the Roald Dahl book initially, but the, the way they're presented is just, ah, oh, it's brilliant. Love it. That was my laptop making a money noise. I should have put it on mute. Other potential contenders are the Book of Mormon, which is freaking hilarious, um, or the Lord of the Rings musical, which is so epic on a mind-blowing scale, and it was only in London for a year, and I count myself lucky to have seen it. But, oh my God, the, it's just amazing. It's so epic. It's, it's fantastic. Um, so they're my sort of top three and they fluctuate, but I'm going to go with Matilda as my very top one at the moment. Favourite musical you've ever been in? Uh, I'm going to go with one called Honk, which you probably haven't heard of. It's basically a musical version of the Ugly Duckling story. And yes, I know that sounds kind of lame, but trust me, it's actually a really good musical. And as if to prove my point, it won Olivia Awards when it was done professionally, when it first came out. So uh, it's it's a very good musical, it's very fun. And I think the reason why I, it's my favourite musical I've been in is, is because of the role I played in it and how much fun I had playing that role. I played the bad guy in that. I was the cat that wanted to eat the duck. Um, and I got to play this brilliantly sort of smarmy, sort of trilby wearing cat it was oh it was so much fun to do and i had a couple of fun songs in it and uh yeah i did this it, 
it, that's my favourite one I've been in, just because of just because of how much fun I had in it. A musical you want to see? I want to see Groundhog Day the musical. Um, I, I like the Groundhog Day film; it's a good film, but I don't want to see it because of the film and how much whether or not I like the film. It, it's a great, it's a it's a good film, but I want to see it because once again the lyricist is Tim Minchin, and I think. I want to see what he's done with it. That's why I want to see it. And it's, it was on in London and I missed it. I really hope it comes back. And if it does, if I see it's back in London, I am snapping up tickets the second it, it's there because I really want to see that. Uh, favorite score. Um, I'm going to go back to Lord of the Rings, which I mentioned as a, as a contender for my favorite musical. It's definitely my favorite score. It is epic. It is the most spine tingly score you'll probably ever hear i mean it's just absolutely epic in its tone I, i'm overusing the word epic but it is it's so epic and just uh, you can you can it's on i think it's on spotify go 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 spotify it because it's it's if you like musical theater you like epic musical theater get it what listen to it now go on spotify it keep directing people away from my videos this is probably not a good idea is it favorite actor Okay, I'm gonna admit I don't know many musical actors um, apart from like the really stupidly famous ones. So I'm just gonna have to say Hugh Jackman because he seems like a really nice guy. Dream roles? Hmm. I don't really have any majorly dream roles. I quite like to play Billy Flynn in Chicago. That seems like a fun role to play. I think I could have a lot of fun playing that. Okay, the next question says your five favorite solos, duets and trios. I'm not going to do five, I'm going to do potentially one from each. Uh, solo, I'm going to go Defying Gravity, I think that's a solo, isn't it? Uh, I think so. So that. Duet, popular, also from Wicked, so both of them are from Wicked. Um, oh, and Trio, I can't think of one. Sorry. Five favourite ensemble pieces. I will do five for this one. Uh, so I've got the final battle from Lord of the Rings. That's probably the most epic of the epic soundtrack of Lord of the Rings. Uh, One Day More from Lemire's. Another very epic feeling, rousing, fist pumping track. Revolting Children from Matilda, which is uh, really, really fun. I could have, there's so many I could have picked from Matilda. I could have also picked School Song or uh, When I Grow Up. They're both amazing songs too, but I'm going for Revolting Children. It's again, it's got that kind of like, yeah, feel to it. In fact, I think I think most of them have that kind of, yeah, feel to it. That's, that's what I like, especially in big ensemble numbers. Uh, the Heat is on in Saigon from Miss Saigon. The heat is on in Saigon. There's a war going on. Da, 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 da. I shouldn't try and sing when I got a bad throat still. And finally, Turn It Off from Book of Mormon, which is hilarious. And finally, a musical that changed your life. There are many in different ways, I suppose. There, without Miss Saigon um, and my mum playing that CD on repeat, I might have not have got into musical theatre as much as I did. So there's that. Without Honk, I wouldn't have joined. That was the first production I did with Eods, Eastern Operatic and Dramatic Society. I'll do go if you're in Worcestershire, do go see their productions. I've, I've moved away since then, but I, I met so many great friends through there, um, and that had a big impact on my life. I think. Um, uh, yeah, go see, go see their productions. They do two a year. They're very good. And if you're in Worcestershire, Gloucestershire region, plug there. And uh, and early on in my relationship with the woman that is now my wife, I took her to see Lion King in London. And who knows what would have happened if I hadn't have taken her. Maybe we wouldn't be together. I like to think obviously we would. But uh, on while we were there, that's when she uh, agreed to come on holiday with me and my parents uh, to China. So... Uh, you know, butterfly effect. If if she hadn't come on, if we had, if I hadn't taken her to see the Lion King, she might not come to China, and then that might have, you know, not felt. Who knows? Uh, but uh, but that I I would say had a big Im impact for that reason and changed my life for that reason. So there you go. There's three for that. Um, I think that's all the questions. Yeah, that's all the questions. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you want to do this, please do go ahead. Um, and link me to your videos of you doing it if you do because I would love to see them and uh, Yeah, check out Amy's who I found this whose channel. I found this on I will put the link in the description below I will be back for more pop culture -y 
videos on all sorts of things like theatre, TV, Doctor Who, films, all that sort of stuff uh, soon. So I try and do one a week. So hopefully I'll see you again. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And as I like to say, all that jazz. Thank you and I will see you soon. Goodbye. Editing Phil here very quickly. I forgot to tag any actual individuals. I meant to tag my sister, Holly Reader. You were tagged. And also, I happened to get into a conversation on Twitter as I was editing this video today with Gallifrey Archives, uh, who had just come out of seeing Matilda. So he's obviously a musical fan as well. So I'm going to tag him to do it. Uh, he said he might resurrect his personal channel. I don't know, because uh, he, he's a blogger, not a vlogger. But uh, but he might find some way of doing it. So Gallifrey Archives, you're, you're tagged too. That, that's all from editing, Phil. Bye. Thank you.